click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the uses of dinitrogen and now in this topic we are going to talk about the other compound of nitrogen that is ammonia. So now let us understand what is the preparation of ammonia. So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the preparation of ammonia. So there are different methods from which we can prepare ammonia or we can obtain ammonia. So among that, the first one is by decomposition of ammonium salts. So for that, here we have an example that is we have considered that is ammonium chloride. Right? Suppose if we are reacting it with calcium hydroxide, which is also known as slick line. So in this case, the reaction will occur at a high temperature so as to obtain that is two moles of ammonia that is NH3 along with that of CaCl2 plus H2O. So in this case, the ammonia has been obtained. But the thing is, we can't use CaCl2. CaCl2 and we can't use H2SO4 as a dehydrating agent because whenever CaCl2 or whenever H2SO4 they react with NH3 they will form a salt and that's the reason because of this complexity we are not using CaCl2 along with that of that is H2SO4 as a dehydrating agent. So this is one of the reaction where we can obtain that is NH3 but now let me talk about the other reaction also from which we can prepare NH3 or we can obtain NH3. So friends this is another method from which we can prepare ammonia and that is also from an ammonium salt that is here we have considered that is ammonium sulfate and whenever ammonium sulfate is reacted with sodium hydroxide obviously at a particular temperature this will give us that is ammonia that is two moles of ammonia along with that of Na2SO4 along with that of that is water as a byproduct so even this is another method that we can prepare or we can obtain ammonia so this was the first method that is by decomposition of ammonium salt and now let me talk about the another method so friends now another method from which we can prepare ammonia is by Haber's process so as I have mentioned earlier that is I'm going to talk about this Haber process in detail so the thing is that is what we have to concern is we have to take that is nitrogen along with that of hydrogen and the ratio should be 1 is to 3 and at a particular temperature or by providing certain kind of catalyst so the catalyst that I'm going to talk about here is Fe as a catalyst and certain kind of promoters in this case I could take that is molybdenum or I could also use that is K2O as a promoter and in this case basically the reaction will occur in such a manner that is at a temperature of 700 Kelvin that is we would get ammonia that is NH3 so here basically 700 Kelvin is the optimum temperature that is what we have to concern with and obviously at high pressure we could get ammonia but this ammonia that has been obtained so it can further decompose into that is N2 and 3 moles of H2 so that's the reason that this kind of reaction is a reversible reaction and for that we have to obtain this ammonia at a precise and high quantity so for that let me explain you the diagram so this is a schematical diagram of Haber's process and this is what I'm going to talk about so here basically it is an inlet of H2 and this is an inlet of N2 and that is at high pressure that is around 20 megapascal obviously at high pressure this N2 as well as H2 they will pass through this tube and obviously they will pass through the catalyst and this catalyst is nothing but iron along with that of Al2O3 and K2O which are used as promoters so in this case basically N2 along with that of 3 moles of H2 so here basically there will be a production of NH3 but there will be a mixture of NH3 along with that of H2 and N2 so that's the reason that they will pass through this pipe and they will condense so whenever they will condense they will form liquid NH3 but since we understand that is nitrogen and hydrogen they are in the form of gas so obviously they will again they will move to this pipe as we can see over here that is N2 and H2 and again they will pass through this pump and again through this process basically they will pass through this catalytic chamber and again there will be formation of ammonia so therefore this process will go on and that's the reason that we could obtain high quantity of ammonia that is NH3 so this is what I was talking about but here the temperature that has been obtained over here is basically 7 100 Kelvin the reason behind that is this is known as optimum temperature because we understand that is the formation of ammonia is basically a reversible process and that's the reason and also it is basically an exothermic process that's the reason we have to maintain the temperature less also and we have to provide high temperature also and that's the reason that this is how basically we can obtain ammonia so therefore this was the reaction where we can obtain ammonia and that's it so now let us move on to the next one so the other method from which we can prepare ammonia is by hydrolysis of calcium cyanamide so in this case we have in the previous lecture also we have understood that is calcium cyanamide can be produced whenever the calcium carbide is treated with ammonia that is at high 
temperature and at higher pressure that is here we have considered that is one atmosphere but suppose if we are providing less temperature so therefore we have to increase the pressure and that's the reason we can obtain that is calcium cyanamide along with that of carbon so now this calcium cyanamide it is hydrolyzed that is in presence of h2o and at high temperature so therefore we could get that is co 3 as a byproduct and the main component that is what we need is basically nh3 and this is what we can obtain so therefore this were the different methods from which we can prepare or we can obtain ammonia and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekra channel thank you so much